Well, here's something not to hold your breath over. What will happen in the next 5 billion years? So our universe is like 14 billion years old. Yeah, not so young, is it? Although it might seem like all those stars, planets, and other celestial bodies will live on forever, that's really not the case. As time goes on, inevitable processes will determine the fate of our Sun, Earth, neighboring planets, and the whole universe itself. And you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. So let's have a peek at a future so distant that it's hard to comprehend, and try to answer one particularly alarming question. What will happen to us in the next 5 billion years? Just a warning, an apocalypse will come. Our Sun today is a middle-aged star, still powerful and blazing merrily in the sky, but moving towards the end of its life all the same. <laughs> Kinda like us. And what exactly does the future hold in store for our Sun? We'll have to turn to the brightest minds to answer that question. In 2016, an international group of researchers published a work outlining the future of our solar system in the scientific journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. They explained that 208 light years away from us, there's a remote star called L2 Puppis. Several billion years ago, this star looked exactly like our Sun does nowadays, with the same mass and similar characteristics. This coincidence gave the scientists an opportunity to see the future of our solar system with almost 100% accuracy. L2 Puppis is pretty old, about 10 billion years old to be exact. Over its very long lifetime, the star lost a third of its mass, and that's the exact fate awaiting our Sun too. But before that, in about 5 billion years, our Sun will swell into a red giant over 100 times its current size. And it'll keep on growing into the next star phase, an asymptomatic giant branch star. This means that the radius of our star will be one astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Sun and the Earth. To put that in perspective, right now, the Sun's radius is only 1 215th of an astronomical unit. So yeah, it'll get way bigger than it is now. As is typical of all stars of such a huge size, the Sun will start to cool as it uses up all its energy. The heavier elements like silicates and different metals will begin to condense into tiny grain and dust particles. After that, the radiation coming from the giant star will push these particles away and they'll carry gas off with them. So basically, the Sun will literally be expelling its atmosphere. As a dramatic result, our Sun will go from a massive giant into a tiny white dwarf. Although it'll be about the size of Earth, it'll be a whole lot denser and heavier. Just one teaspoon of the material of a white dwarf star weighs over 5 tons. In the final stage of our Sun's transformation, the core of the star will become exposed, and it will turn into something completely different. But that's another story itself. Let's stick to what's on everybody's mind. What will happen to the Earth? To answer that question, hmm, nobody knows for sure. Scientists do know that it won't be good news for life here on our planet. But it's not a definite fact that the Earth will survive to see the Sun turn into a red giant, let alone a white dwarf. Several disastrous scenarios will probably end life on Earth much earlier. So make sure your insurance is up to date, huh? Volcanic Apocalypse we're not exactly sure if or when a volcanic apocalypse will happen. It could be anywhere from 0 to 100 million years from now. The outcome of a mega-eruption will depend on the area it'll try to burst through the planet's crust. If this happens in a place with vast salt deposits, and there are plenty of those on Earth, mass extinction will follow. And that's because when salts are baked from the heat of volcanic activity, Huge quantities of ozone-destroying chemicals are released into the atmosphere. As a result, humans and all other living creatures on Earth will have to deal with deadly space radiation that the ozone used to protect us from. This will probably prove fatal for life on our planet. Oh my! An Asteroid Collision 
This potential threat to Earth may come about 450 million years from now. And while a collision with an asteroid, however big, probably won't extinguish all life forms on the planet, it could come very close. After all, that's one theory on what took out the dinosaurs. Some scientists are sure that our planet already experienced such an encounter soon after its birth. As a result of this massive collision, our moon was formed. Out of green cheese. No, not really. Freezing of the Earth's core In 3 or 4 billion years, the Earth's molten liquid core may solidify. In this case, the planet will lose its magnetic field and, consequently, its atmosphere. This will certainly lead to the demise of all forms of life on our planet. Scientists believe this is probably what happened to Mars. Its magnetosphere collapsed about 3.5 billion years ago, turning the planet into a dry, freezing cold and desolate place, with no Airbnbs. Gamma Ray Bursts These bursts are the result of fierce space explosions that happen when two stars collide or a giant star blows up. They can last anywhere from a fraction of a second to a couple of minutes. If the Earth is within the vicinity of a gamma ray burst, it could obliterate our ozone layer, which, as we've already mentioned, will lead to the end of everything on the planet. An intruding star A traveling star may disturb the peace of our carefree existence in the next million years or so. The planets of our solar system have been orbiting the Sun for billions of years. But what if another star intrudes and messes up this status quo? It might seem unrealistic, but only 70,000 years ago, a red dwarf by the name of Schultz's star roamed the outskirts of our solar system. It wasn't the first, and it won't be the last case, when other stars come uninvited into our solar system party. In the worst-case scenario, a rogue star will go supernova while passing somewhere near the edges of the solar system, and its ionizing radiation would cause unimaginable harm to us. So hey, back off, huh? Another event that will lead to dramatic consequences will be a star traveling right through the solar system where the planets are located. But the chances of this scenario are too small to worry about. Well, that's a relief. The expanding sun. And finally, we may lose our planet to the expanding sun. Now, this won't happen in any foreseeable future, more like 3 or 4 billion years from now. As the star gets bigger and bigger, the temperatures on our planet continue to rise, leading to the ultimate evaporation of the oceans. This will cause a greenhouse effect that will make the temperatures go even higher. This has the potential to wipe even the most resistant microorganisms off the surface of the planet. So, even if all of this sounds really scary and disturbing right now, hey, don't worry. We have the entire universe with countless stars and planets that could become the new home for humanity and other earthly species. And we can screw those up too. Chances are that in the next few centuries, people will develop technologies that will allow us to move on in search of new worlds suitable for Earth's inhabitants. As for right now, we have all the time in the world to admire and enjoy life on our beautiful planet, with the bright warm sun shining over our heads. So, what possible outcome for our planet do you think will happen? Tell us in the comments below. Share this video with your friends that love a good debate about the future of our world. Like this video if you had an exciting time watching it. And remember to click that big red subscribe button. This way, you'll join us on the bright side, where you'll find lots of cool information about any topic of your choice.